Vehicles that currently support our lives also contribute to global warming. We are in the midst of a major transformation to replace gasoline vehicles with electric vehicles. This video introduces the Nagoya University Summer Intensive Program, NUSIP. It is a summer program offered by Nagoya University to introduce the latest technologies in the automotive industry. The city of Nagoya is located at the center of Japan. It is considered the center of the Japanese manufacturing industry, with many major aircraft, automobile, and steel industries located in this area. Some of the major automobile companies in the region include Toyota Motor Corporation, Mitsubishi Motors, and Suzuki Motor Corporation. These companies have strong research and development collaboration links with Nagoya University. Nagoya is not only Japan's center of industry, but it is also an important historical and cultural city. This is Nagoya Castle, which represents the history of Nagoya. This is Nagoya Station, which is a cornerstone of modern transportation. This is the vibrant downtown area and the main gathering place for young people. This is Nagoya University. In this wide and open campus, you will find cutting-edge research facilities and students studying and enjoying campus life. Nagoya University is one of Japan's top universities and an internationally renowned research university with six Nobel laureates in the fields of science and engineering. Nagoya University is a large university with a wide variety of academic research being conducted in faculties ranging from science and engineering to the liberal arts. Here we will have a look at some examples of ongoing research related to mobility. First, we will introduce some of the cutting-edge research being conducted at the National Innovation Complex, which is the representative center for mobility-related research at Nagoya University. So, Nagoya University, there's quite a few multidisciplinary labs like this one. So, my research in autonomous driving perception is made possible by all the different uh, people who work here. So, from the um, vehicle engineers to electrical engineers who work here, uh, the computer vision and machine learning scientists who all uh, come together in these kind of labs to put together these great big research projects uh, where emerging technology comes from. Next, let's move on to research on autonomous vehicles, which has been the focus of attention in recent years. Autonomous driving technology will enable vehicles to maneuver safely without any intervention by a human driver. Next is automated factory technology, which enables unmanned transportation of things between buildings. Japan's population is rapidly aging, and there is an increase in car accidents resulting from driving errors by elderly drivers. Using one of the world's most advanced driving simulators, researchers here conduct technology development and training aimed at reducing car accidents by elderly drivers. Hello everyone, I am Professor Ishida. We started this program in 2008. In this program, Professors of Nagoya University introduced the latest technology of automotive engineering in collaboration with company researchers. However, due to the coronavirus pandemic, we could not have this program. When things will return to normal, we will start this program again. In this video, we introduce new SIP and the current research of automotive engineering in Nagoya University. Please enjoy this video. Starting here, we will explain what the summer program NUSIP is about. NUSIP is made up of four program components. The first component is the lectures on the latest technology in automotive engineering. This consists of three parts. Company researchers and professors of Nagoya University co-teach classes focusing on cutting-edge automotive technology. Fifteen lectures are provided covering 15 sub-themes derived from three main themes of safety, automated driving, and electric vehicles. As you can see here, 
Apart from the instructor-centered lecture sessions, the participants also form teams to work together on a chosen common theme, then give group presentations followed by lively question and answer sessions. In addition to the 15 lectures, we invite an influential researcher in the automotive field to offer one special lecture on an interesting topic of their choice. For example, in 2013, Professor Hiroshi Shimizu of Keio University talked about Elika, which was one of the most advanced electric vehicles under development at the time. This video is provided courtesy of Professor Shimizu. In 2019, the special lecture was provided by an invited speaker from Mitsubishi Motors. He talked about motor sports. Mitsubishi Motors has a long and rich tradition of winning at international rally championships. This video was provided courtesy of Mitsubishi Motors. In the NUSIP program, the participants also take Japanese language classes. To gather the language learning needs of all the participants, including those who have already studied Japanese, we offer three levels. A beginner class, an intermediate class, and an advanced class. One of the highlights of this program is the visits to Japanese national research facilities, as well as to the factories and research facilities of top automobile companies. For example, these are photos taken at the National Traffic Safety and Environment Laboratory in Tokyo. These slides show the photos taken at a visit to Toyota Motor Corporation. One of the most exciting parts of the program for the participants is the cultural excursion component. The first destination is Kyoto, which was the capital of ancient Japan for more than a thousand years. It is a city rich in culture and beautiful scenery and is the site of 17 UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Participants also visit Nara, which is an even more ancient capital of Japan compared to Kyoto. The city flourished with the culture of Buddhism. In addition to these ancient cities, we also visit the Ninja Museum in Iga, the home province of one of the most famous ninja schools in Japan. The culture excursion continues with a visit to Tokyo, which has the largest population in Japan and is the current capital of Japan. It is the center of politics, economy, and culture. NUSIP is a very popular program. From the start of the program in 2008 until 2019, we have had 358 overseas participants. This slide shows the number of past participants by region of the home institution. 239 from North America, 64 from Asia, 42 from Europe, and 13 from Middle East and Africa. In the following, messages from three past participants are introduced. Hello, my name is Axel. I am from Stockholm, Sweden, and I attended NUSIP in the summer of 2019. For me, NUSIP was a really great and fast way of getting to know the vehicle industry and vehicle technology in general. The lectures covered a very broad range of topics, for example, electric vehicles, crash safety, autonomous driving, or alternative fuels. And this gave a very good insight into the vehicle industry and uh, what will be important uh, for the sector in the future. I strongly recommend NUSIP to anyone who has a combined interest in vehicle engineering and uh, Japan and uh, Japanese society and culture. I have very fond memories of uh, the time in uh, Nagoya and uh, I made some really good friends. So uh, please apply if you get the chance. Hello all and welcome to NUSIP. My name is Abdullah Munshi and I'm currently working as an aircraft maintenance engineer for Saudi Airlines. And I was a part of NUSIP 2019. And let me tell you that in NUSIP you're going to learn so much about automotive engineering and how it's going to impact the future. You're going to be covering topics such as electrical vehicles, autonomous driving, or even raising the safety standards for vehicles in the future. In addition to that, you're also going to take a Japanese course. It's either going to be a beginner's course or an intermediate course, depending on your level in Japanese. And let me tell you something that you're going to have so much fun in Yusip. And if you haven't been in Japan before, you're in for a culture shock. Have fun. Make sure you enjoy every moment while you're there. 
Hello, my name is Natula Koshaba and I'm a mechanical engineering student at the University of Toronto in Toronto, Canada. In the summer of 2019, I had the privilege to go to Nagoya University to study under the NUSIP program for six weeks. There I got to learn so much about the automotive industry in Japan and around the world, including all the innovative technologies that were being produced for both creating more sustainable and safer vehicles. Not only did I get to learn so much about this industry, but I got to meet so many cool people from around the world that all shared the same interests as me, as well as got to experience such an amazing culture in a place I've never been before. I would recommend this program for anyone interested in vehicle engineering and anyone interested in learning more and in gaining experience in the Japanese culture and just meeting new friends from around the world. Uh, overall, this program helped me to discover my passion for wanting to create more sustainable vehicles um, and I'm very thankful for that. So I would highly recommend this program. Thank you very much for listening. I hope this video has given you a good understanding of what NUSIP has to offer. Personally, I highly recommend this program because of the good balance between the technical and the cultural aspects which you will be able to fully experience when you come to Japan. On behalf of NUSIP, I want to thank you for your interest in this program and I want to challenge you to take advantage of this unique study abroad opportunity. We look forward to seeing you in Nagoya.